Hey everyone, my name is Sal Sankata, and in this month's product review, we're going to check out the Panasonic G9. All right, so I'm not going to lie. Those of you who know me and follow our videos, we've been using the Panasonic platform since the GH3. So the 3, 4, and 5. And the reason is simple. I think Panasonic has been absolutely groundbreaking in their 4K technology. Uh, the price point and the performance, I think, is unmatched. But here we are today, and we have the G9. And according to Panasonic, this is a game changer for the photography aspect above and beyond the video. So rather than run through a bunch of tech specs with you, I've got the camera in my hand. Let's go on a photo shoot, put this thing to the test, and see if it's going to work for professional photographers in the field. That is the true test. For years, Panasonic has been dominating 4K with the affordable and performance-heavy GH cameras. I personally started on the platform with the GH3 and currently use the GH5 for video production. The G9 is a new animal for Panasonic in my opinion. It's a camera that's more than just video. Sure, it will still shoot 4K and at 60 frames per second, it's not something to take lightly. But is this new camera ready for the needs of professional photographers? I wanted to find out if the G9 could keep up with me in the field on a real photo shoot. With 20 megapixels, a live viewfinder, 225 focus points, built-in 5-axis image stabilization to support 6.5 stops of slower shutter speed, a new LCD status screen, and dual card slots, let's see what this new camera can do. We are in China today working on a fashion shoot. Oddly enough, the camera is extremely intuitive. I found navigating the knobs and dials to be somewhat simple after spending about 10 minutes reading the quick start guide. Armed with only two lenses, a 24-120 and an 85mm 1-2, we were off to the races. Let's start with the feel. Right out of the gate, the camera is lighter and feels more natural in my hands compared to the bulk of a traditional SLR. I love having all the dials that are easily accessible. New for the G9, a lighted LCD screen on top of the camera for easy access to settings. A must-have for someone using their cameras for photography. In addition, the camera gives you 20 frames per second with continuous focus opportunities. The camera offers 225 focus points, ensuring you get tack sharp focus across the entire frame. But what I like most is the focus tracking and face detection modes. There's nothing worse than hunting for focus and missing. I found this part of the camera to be incredibly useful when photographing people or any type of motion, like a bride walking down the aisle or action shots. Here's what I can tell you. I was thoroughly impressed with the performance of the camera in the field on a real photo shoot. Tech specs are great, but real world scenarios always went out in my mind. You be the judge. The camera didn't miss a beat and was able to create incredible images during this fast paced shoot. All of this was done in less than an hour in three different locations, not to mention a quickly setting sun forcing us to work with higher ISO settings. The G9 is a standout camera for Panasonic and one any photographer can produce incredible results with. All right, so that is a wrap with the uh, Panasonic G9. Holy shit, got to be honest with you. I am absolutely blown away uh, by this system. So I was using the, uh, the 85 millimeter, the Leica 85 millimeter 1.2. It is dark right now, and that's what I'm being filmed on right now on a Panasonic GH5. Uh, it's dark here, and it is giving us incredible light, incredible focus, and we were able to produce some very incredible images. Uh, this camera, uh, I've got to admit, is ready for prime time. So I had no problems uh, figuring out how to use it. Uh, yeah, I spent a few minutes, a few minutes flipping through the user manual to get used to the uh, focus systems because you've got tracking, you've got face recognition, uh, you've got burst and single shot, all things that are new for me because I've never used this camera uh, for the photography. And so I'm here to tell you, super easy to get used to. Uh, I was quickly and easily able to figure out how to use the camera. So I'm new to it and I can figure it out and I got results that I'm damn proud of. So this is a camera worth looking at. I think you're gonna love it.